old people that have never roller skated. Field eyes. It's that time of year again, when the snow melts and the days start to get longer, and I remember that the most popular videos on my channel are about children's game shows from 30 years ago. Sometimes you gotta give the people what they want, and in this case, that means we're taking another trip to the temple. My other Nick Gass videos put the spotlight on some of the finest game show performances in all of human history. But this time around, we're taking a look at some hidden temple tragedies. For various reasons, these are the worst temple runs ever seen on Legends of the Hidden Temple. Alright, let me get this out of the way right up front. I do understand that I'm kinda cyberbullying these kids for taking L's in Olmec's temple. I mean, they already had to go through having their dreams crushed on Nickelodeon for everyone to see, and now here I am 30 years in the future airing out their dirty laundry. But I promise you, none of this is personal or even meant to be taken seriously. Most, if not all of us, were goofy kids at some point, and this group of temple runs is meant to celebrate that. Hey, it's tough, I get it. You're a 12 year old kid, or, or like 15 year old for some reason if you're on the Silver Snakes, and you're on a big sound stage with cameras and lights and crew members running all over the place. The audience is going nuts when the sign tells them to, and you got Kirk Fogg stumbling through his lines over there, which is making you even more nervous. I'm not saying running the temple was easy, or for the faint of heart, so I just want to point out that these kids deserve our respect just for making it this far. Regardless of what took place once you got in, entering Olmec's temple was something not many people got to do. Alright, now that I've got my bases covered, let's take a look at some of the biggest temple run tragedies, in no particular order. We're starting out with a classic from Season 2. It's Kevin and Kelly of the Red Jaguars going after the jeweled necklace of Montezuma. This run starts out like any other, as Kevin makes it only about five steps in before he's assaulted by a temple guard. It's all good though, he's got a pendant of life, and maybe a new subject to talk about with his therapist. It's understandable that he's looking a little rattled as he makes his way through the lower part of the temple, but he's gonna need to pick it up if he wants to get his mitts on that badass bike they're giving away for reaching the treasure. But before he can make it that far, Kevin is unfortunately forced out of the temple when he comes across a second temple guard. Here comes Kelly, and oh boy is she about to have just the absolute worst time. Things start out okay as Kelly follows the path that Kevin took up until the laser light room where, instead of going up into the necklace, she opts to head into the swamp. Different, different, but I'm still with you. Now she's in the dark forest, the room where you gotta shove your arm into these tree holes that could also be a dude in a costume. Well, speak of the devil, Kelly gets caught right here and has to give up her pen to life. And she's pissed about it too, she just chucks that thing on the ground. And now BOOM! She just blasts into the mine shaft. God, that must have been so much fun. From here, she makes her way up and into, oh, okay, here we go, it's silver monkey time. Now I'm starting to see where the whole quote unquote tragic run thing is going to come into play here. Buckle up folks, we've got almost an entire minute of sheer struggle right here. You know things are going really bad when you drop a piece of the puzzle and they have to throw it back up to you. I mean look at that thing, no wonder Kelly can't figure out the monkey puzzle, that middle piece is barely recognizable. The clock finally strikes zero and puts an end to Kelly's nightmare silver monkey attempt. Now we all know the shrine of the silver monkey is covered in the tears of failed temple runners, but if the comments on my other legends videos are anything to go by, this puzzle's difficulty seems to be the subject of a pretty heated debate. Some see the silver monkey as an overwhelming and confusing challenge that the contestants had to build backwards, while others see it as, uh, just three pieces of foam that shouldn't be very hard to assemble. Let me know which side of the debate you're on in the comments, but either way, Kelly's struggle in the shrine might be the most brutal of them all, and it earns this run the dubious honor of being amongst the worst ever. Oh, imagine that, it's the purple parrots making an appearance on a worst of list, no surprise there. This is actually the first parrot's appearance at Olmec's temple ever. It's season 1 episode 26 and we've got Shane and Jackie taking on Temple Layout 5. Shane starts out by taking the upper route into the temple, and aw, oh, come on, really? These guards are spawn camping the temple entrance. This run was doomed from the start. Shane keeps moving though, and he's doing all right. Kirk Fogg is liking what he sees. This guy's fast, I like his style. But uh-oh, grown man in a ball pit alert, and that means game over for Shane. Let's see what Jackie can do. Well, she's not exactly the flash in there, but she's got a lot of time left, so anything's possible. 
Okay, a little confusion on the ledges, a little nonchalant with the approach overall, but the space camp dream is still alive as Jackie makes it past the swamp and into the tomb of the ancient king. At first, she's kind of like, what, what, what the hell? What am I supposed to be doing in here? But she does manage to break down the wall after burning some precious seconds. Into the pirate's cove with 40 seconds left. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, well, uh, everything as it turns out. Oh man, she's got no clue what she's supposed to do, does she? This is why it's so important to pay attention to Olmec kids. This one's getting ugly. Jackie's just trying to build a super torch instead of solving the puzzle. Despite Kirk Fogg's cries, she only realizes where the torches are meant to go once it's too late. Just tragic. Olmec's temple can be a baffling place, and unfortunately, Jackie had to find that out the hard way. Hey, would you look at that? It's another Purple Parrots run. I can't say I'm surprised. This time, it's Marie and Claude chasing the lost lion tail of Little John. Marie starts out up top, but gets forced down to the ledges where a temple guard is waiting to take her pendant of life. These might be some bad runs, but these bogus guard positions definitely don't help things out. It's pretty slow going for Marie as she's already burned up a full minute by the time she's out of the rock quarry. She stays low, but meets a second temple guard in the swamp. Alright Claude, show us what you got. Claude's not exactly setting any land speed records, is he? Is this kid asleep? Wake up man, you're on Legends of the Hidden Temple here. It's like Claude is in some sort of daze as he shuffles through the swamp. This has to be the least anyone has ever given a shit while doing a temple run. This kid Claude could care less even when a tree springs to life and grabs him. I mean, he's just chilling at this point. I would go as far as to say Claude is straight up dilly-dallying through the forest until the clock finally runs out. Although, he did make sure to go bash through the wall before time was up, so I do gotta give him points for that. In fact, I low-key kinda like what Claude did during this run. The way he just saunters through the temple without a care in the world, I love it. Screw that cruise. Claude's taking his own scenic tour of Nickelodeon Studios, and you can be damn sure he's getting his money's worth on the Hidden Temple set. Bad run, cool kid. Aw, oh, come on, the purple parrots again? Now this is just starting to get a little sad. The poor purple souls this time are Chris and Aquila, and you already know they aren't going to win that same cruise to the Bahamas that Claude just passed up on. Chris jets towards the temple and ooh, takes a tumble there, but he recovers well and oh, of course, a temple guard snatches him up in the first room. Typical. Goodbye, pendant of life. Chris doesn't slow down though. This kid is all action. Boom, drops straight into the pit without a second thought. I love that. Unfortunately, he literally gets dragged out of the temple in the next room. Just, just look at this, by the way. You think I'm kidding about all that traumatization stuff? It's here where we are reminded that temple running is a team sport. Aquila starts out in a similar fashion to Chris, moving quickly and effectively. But right here, she makes a crucial mistake, leaving the extra half pendant behind. Now, that wouldn't usually be so bad, but Aquila opts to go back and grab the half pendant, which saves precious seconds off the clock. The whole ordeal leaves her pretty befuddled, and she's gonna lose even more time here in the laser light room. Aquila gets back on track for a bit until she encounters a temple guard in the king's storeroom. Now she's really rattled, and loses quite a bit of time figuring the room out. Okay, so maybe winning the grand prize is a lost cause at this point, but she's close enough to the pepperoni that she can still earn that sweet sports and travel gear. All she has to do is get through the shrine of the silver monkey. Uh oh. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What's happening here? She's not completely lost. She's solving the puzzle. Oh my god, what a plot twist. She actually did it. She beat the silver monkey and... Wait, hold on. No, Aquila, you gotta grab the pepperoni. No, don't get in the elevator. Grab the pepperoni. The timer hits zero and Chris falls to his knees in an image that oozes defeat. Just look at him. He's devastated. He could basically feel the rich canvas material of those travel bags, and it was stolen from him in this moment of agony. Yeah, this run definitely falls on the quote-unquote tragedy side of this list. It really isn't that bad of a performance, but it's got an absolute gut punch of a finish. Worst can mean multiple things, and in this case, it's the heartbreak factor that earns this run a spot amongst the worst. Alright Purple Parrots fans, you guys can come back in the room now, I'm done picking on your team. Now it's the Silver Snake's turn in a run that many consider to be the gold standard of Temple Run misadventures. We're looking at John and Tia's quest for the Golden Cricket Cage of Khan. Yo, by the way, those yellow sweatpants are sick. Do those come in adult sizes? John starts the run with a little bit of apprehension. Some kids cannonball straight into the temple, but my guy John prefers to dip his toes in and take it slow. 
It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. He encounters a temple guard pretty quickly, but that's no surprise, and he seems pretty unfazed, actually. This kid is basically sleepwalking through the temple. A locked door halts his progress, and rather than take the ladder up, John decides to double back. Okay, that could work. Wait, John, what are you doing? Now he's going back to the throne room? John, you know you have a time limit, right? So now he decides to take the ladder up and oop, guess the temple guards have had enough of this kid. Let's get Tia in there and see what she can do, I guess. Tia catches up to where John was eliminated in about 10 seconds, but, but uh, oh, oh god, Tia's going backwards now. She crawls through the pit, realizes her mistake and turns around. Now? Well, I'm not really sure what's going on here. That's a little bit of a freestyle in the temple if I've ever seen one. All right, Tia, back to the run. No, Tia, not not down there. Don't go backwards again, you goof. No way. She just completely stopped and took a seat right there. No, now she's going backwards again. This is insane. With only seconds left, Tia decides to get some rope climbing in just for the hell of it, and then the run ends. Yeah, that that's it. These kids made it through like three rooms. That was something special, truly the most baffling temple run ever. So bad, it's good. The best of the worst, in my opinion. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this latest trip to Olmec's temple. If you did, drop a like on the video. I'm sure there will be plenty of disagreement about my selections, so let me know which runs I missed out on in the comments. By the way, shout out to all these kids for doing their best in the temple. The rest of us can only dream of getting that opportunity. Like I said, thanks again, and I'll see you soon.